asking questions around town. What, the Diamond City's got two diamond things? Hey, you're that vault dweller. All sure looking good lately. Guess Abbott's on some. Kim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yeti. I am in middle of story. So then worry, I am worry, crossing worry. Rhythm, Look, right? just leave me alone. Wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really dead. Redeem! Oh, I forgot you were there, you fiend. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Hey there. Hey. What's your story? Mercenary? Caravan guard? Wrong on both tries. Hmm. I can usually spot a higher gun on the first look. Maybe you just give off an armed and dangerous vibe. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over, seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me, you don't want to know what they're capable of. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. See you around, Hawthorne. Later. You there. We need to have a conversation. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. You think that article is telling the truth? You know? See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> No, no, I kid, I kid. He is dead, though. Now, let me know when you're ready to order. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> Not now. You sure? Ah, well.
Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll. Uh... Need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. 
That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you, it's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep, I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job.
This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're gonna finally get rid of them. My dead body? Ha! Waste, huh? Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? 
Your sister is missing and I want her. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? So did you find out what happened Edward to the courier? Better things to do than sending someone out to Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I, can't. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your bed. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. If your father were here, he'd send something. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful. Remember? Hey. Get that rifle. I just can't bear to think what might have happened to poor Imogene.
Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Whoa, whoa, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, whoa, time out. If someone steps through the gate the first time, and they're a guest, you lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting hey. outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there. But a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. You all right? You. You're a ghoul? That's right. Like my face. I think it gives me a sexy King of the Zombies kind of look. Big hit with the ladies. Listen, a lot of walking rad freaks like me around here. So you might want to keep those kinds of questions on the low burner next time. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Of the people, for the people? <laughs> Brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. <coughs> Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Enjoy your stay. Entertainments down the stairs. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Hmm? What's the matter, Handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? But don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those powerful muscles of yours. My. I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer, I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? know where I could find her? I guess that depends on why you're looking for her. Her family's worried that something's happened to her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. 
Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm, well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fella. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot the fat. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want anyone here to forget what matters. Hey, Daisy, glad you could make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Krauski the other day? Huh, he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right, what matters. We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? Yeah, the Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later, you've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us! us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor. Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the people! For the people! Jeez Louise, that's some tin can. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. What's she doing here? Is she a member of your movement? Actually, she and I are... you know... romantically involved. Not that it's any of your business, but... she and I are just having a little... relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. <laughs> 